And it's so easy to make money when the market goes up, when your stocks are going up. But what about when your stocks are going down? And what about when they're going down a lot? Do you freeze? Do you panic? Do you start to pray and wait for them to go back up? No, have a game plan. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly the tools that you can use to understand your positions better and how to turn a losing trade into a winning one. If you want a copy of these spreadsheets, put a comment yes and I'll send it to you. Now, before we jump right in, hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. I'm literally putting up a video every single day for 1000 days, talking all about puts, calls, walking through different tickers and giving you tools exactly like these tools to help you be successful. Now let's jump right in. All right, guys, so check this out. This is a very easy spreadsheet that I created to help illustrate what percent does your stock need to go back up to break even after it drops. So let's say your stock is $50 and it drops 50%. Most people will think that it has to go 50% back up to break even, but that's actually not correct. As you can see from the spreadsheet here, if your stock drops 50%, it actually has to go 100% up to break even, to go back to where it was before. Let's say if your stock drops 25%, it needs to go up 33 and a third percent to get back to even. If your stock drops 80%, it needs to go up 400% to get back to where you started. This means you can't just, let's say, have 100 shares of something and have it drop like a rock and then just forget about it. You'll be waiting until the end of time for it to go back up. I also created this easy spreadsheet where you can type in the values and it will automatically calculate for you. So for example, let's say you started with 100 shares at $50 per share. And let's say the price dropped down to $39. And you wanna know what your average cost per share would be if you purchased another 100 shares. Well, you could use a calculator and calculate that manually, but this spreadsheet does it for you. You see how the average cost automatically updates? And as the price starts coming down, let's say you want to hypothetically illustrate if you were to purchase another 200 shares, as an example, at $19 per share, where that would put your average cost. Well, you see how it comes down, 400 shares, an average price of 31.75. So averaging down your cost can be a very effective way to turn a losing trade into a winning trade. It's very hard to just sit and wait and hope and pray that your stock goes up. But when you're trading a ticker that you believe in long term, that's a good solid company and the stock goes down. And remember guys, stocks go up and they go down. This isn't anything new. So when they do go down, it gives you an opportunity to purchase more shares of that same good company at a lower price, thereby decreasing your average cost per share. Then you only need a little bit of a pop to get back to even and perhaps exit out of your shares. These are tools that I use on a regular basis and I'm happy to share with you. Just drop a comment yes in the comment section below in this video and I'm happy to send this to you. Hey there, how'd you like that video? Pretty cool, pretty easy to use, yeah? If you want a copy of these tools, say yes in the comments below and I'll gladly send to you. Happy trading.